Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk about this set of 24 watercolors by Lucas. They are stood in great paints, but they don't look like stood in great paints, and you'll see that later. I'm also going to talk about these two watercolor mop brushes, they are made with synthetic and natural bristles, so that they can get, stay springy and also at the same time hold a lot of water. These brushes come with like a protective sealing glue kind of thing that holds the bristles together so that they don't get damaged during the transportation and stuff. So to remove that you can just use some warm water and like massage the water into the bristles and everything will go away. Everything you see here was sent to me by Candy that has a shop on AliExpress. I didn't choose any of this, she just sent something to me and I'm really thankful for that. Thank you so much Candy. You can find all of the links in the description. As usual, I'm going to express my personal, honest opinion, I'll make swatches and paint something at the end so that you can get your own idea on how these watercolors and the brushes perform. So, let's get started! A lot of people ask me to review student grade paints, so <laughs> here they are! These watercolors are made in Germany by the brand named Lucas which also makes other kinds of paints like oil paint and I've used those in the past. And did you know that Van Gogh himself used products by Lucas? I, I'm just confused about this information. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel excited, but like, is it true? I don't know. Anyway, TMI, sorry. By the way, um, Lucas watercolors are 100% vegan. No oxygen, no pigment that comes from animals, nothing at all, even the artist range. Don't be fooled by the ivory black because it's called ivory black, but it's not uh, really ivory black. It's made with a pigment used to make lamp black, so it's safe. It's made with charcoal, basically. In the studio range, there are only 24 colors available, so all the ones I'm showing to you, like, that's it. These are all the colors available. The professional line, I think, has like 70 or 80 colors, so it's a lot more. But there's a good news, because among these 24 colors, 19 are pure pigment paints. So they contain only one pigment per color, which is great for color mixing. The brand claims that these watercolors are very light fast, but I'm still testing them on the roof of my house at the moment and I will let you know what I think about them <laughs> in the future, when the light first test will be all finished. I don't know how long it will take <laughs> yet. The transparency and the staining capacities of these paints changes from pigment to pigment. Some are more staining, some are more opaque. This is not a set made of selected pigments that are all transparent or all opaque, so it just totally depends. It's just a studio grade set at the end, you know? Like, they had to make it cheaper so they couldn't all make perfect transparent paints. But um, the colors are pretty intense, so even if you water it down to make it more transparent, they're still vibrant and later more, they become more transparent, so it's alright, it's not that they're super opaque anyway. If there's something that I found confusing, it's that I was actually surprised on how like matte the dried paints look in the pans like because usually paint is really like shiny and sticky but these aren't like that so i thought that there was going to be some problem into wetting them but no there is no problem wetting them and if you don't like to use watercolors in pans they sell these paints in tubes as well so you can look for them if you want so so far all good but there's another very surprising thing, is the fact that these watercolors also flow pretty well on water, despite the lack of oxygen and the fact that they're student grade, they like flow well. So of course the flow also depends on the kind of paper that you use, so they might flow more on certain paper and like differently on other kind of paper, but overall they flow pretty well. I have to tell you that when I started to use watercolors, I used uh, a set of Winston Newton Cutman paints, 12, of, a suit of 12 for 5 years. Um, I had that set of paints and for me it was a big deal, I felt like they were the best watercolor ever. 
because before that I was using kids watercolor so it was a big upgrade for me um, but uh, as I was getting more into watercolors I noticed that there were a lot of things that they were capable of doing like flowing and creating like diffusion and wet and wet indeed Kotma don't really flow very well as I show you in uh, the footage I watched the Viridian by Lucas and then the Viridian Hue by Winston Newton is the exact same pigment but they perform so so differently so these are definitely in my opinion much better than Kotman so I think that these watercolors are highly approved for now I haven't been using them for a very long time so I might somehow at some point find some problem with them and I will let you know if that happens right now I think that they want a place among my artist watercolors in my professional palette and I definitely recommend them if you're looking for more affordable vegan paints that um, they're good <laughs> and now let's paint something um, as usual I made my sketch on my iPad then I printed uh, the sketch and transferred it to the onto the watercolor paper with my light pad I do this because um, if I do the sketch directly on watercolor paper uh, with the eraser I will damage the sizing on top the sizing is a layer like a sort of primer that makes the paper old watercolor well and if you damage it you can get weird texture and unevenness on the surface and that's not good so I don't make the sketch onto watercolor paper but I just transferred it after I made it on some other paper in this video I'm using the Winsor Newton paper that I always use in my videos that it's I think right now is my favorite paper this time guys I decided to make an alla prima watercolor painting which means that I'm going to do everything on pretty much one layer on wet on wet and all of this just because I finished my masking tape and wetting everything is the only way to prevent backlink and at the same time make the layer lay flat the whole time um, so yeah I hope that this can be interesting for you <laughs> Doing this a la prima can lead the things to disaster, but it's also fun and exciting because you don't have complete control over what you're painting and the paint with this technique. Because everything is wet and it will keep like flowing even if you don't want to, but as long as it's wet you can always lift the paint. So it's fine. <laughs> you can still have some control though because the paper will not always be wet in the same level uh, as time goes it will dry a bit and based on how wet the paper is you can decide which parts to do first for example when the paper is really wet you make the most blended stuff and the drier the paper is the more details you can add so you just have to keep those things in mind and like get the hang of it now um the, the brushes I don't have much to say about it about them they do what they're supposed to do I have them in two sizes 0 and 2 there are of course a lot more sizes uh, I think that the best mop brushes it's like a size 5 with like shorter bristles because um, I personally think that the bristles of these brushes are a little bit too long, especially like this, the, the size 2, it's a bit too too long, the, the, the bristles are a bit too long for my taste. Because these brushes are very soft, when they get wet they get uh, floppy, a little bit floppy, so they're not like as springy as synthetic or uh, sable brushes, they are more uh, soft, so the longer the bristles the more floppy they become so if the bristles are shorter you have more control so I definitely liked the side zero better because the bristles are shorter I feel like the side zero is it's it's nice it's perfect it's uh, sharp and it's this cut it very well I've bought another brush on Aliexpress uh, with a red handle and, and the side zero and the cutting of the bristles was terrible it's so crooked and impossible to use so I'm really happy that both of them um, are very nice and pointy um, 
I, I, will, I would have liked them better if the bristles were a little bit shorter, but yeah, it's my personal taste. Um, anyway, uh, that's I think that's all I had to say. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to write a comment below and I will reply if I know the answer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll leave you to the rest of the video now. Um, bye bye! Bye bye guys!